The president of Ecuador has declared a state of emergency after a day of protests against cuts to fuel subsidies, which came into effect on Thursday. Lenin Moreno has criticised the violence, which is the worst unrest in the country for years. Sylvia Lennon-Spence reports. For hours, they raged through the streets of the capital, Quito, showing their anger to the government. Masked protesters threw stones at police, who responded with tear gas and deployed armoured vehicles. Throughout the city, roads were blocked with burning tyres. Groups of demonstrators trying to reach the government palace in downtown Quito were pushed back by riot police. Officers made a number of arrests. Protesters are angry at President Lenin Moreno's decision to end 40-year-old subsidies for fuel, which were costing the government more than a billion dollars annually, and therefore, he said, no longer affordable. On Tuesday, Ecuador announced it was leaving the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, to pump more oil and raise revenues. It currently pumps more than half a million barrels per day. But with diesel and petrol prices now expected to more than double, people are angry. Ecuador has a long history of political instability. Street protests toppled three presidents during economic turmoil in the late 1990s. When Lenin Moreno took office in 2017, he said he would not allow protesters to impose chaos, something that demonstrators have now vowed to keep doing.